While performing on a 1980s sketch comedy TV show in Seattle called Almost Live, Bill Nye cultivated his TV persona on Explaining Science. One incident on the show in which Bill Nye corrected another host on his pronunciation of the word gigawatt led to his infamous nickname. When John Keisner responded, Who do you think you are? Bill Nye the Science Guy? A few years later in 1993, Bill would go on to develop a pilot for PBS on a show to teach children about science. The show became part of a package of syndicated series that local stations could air to fulfill the Children's TV Act requirements. The Children's Television Act was a congressional act that mandated public television to air educational and informational programming aimed towards children. And on September 10th, 1993, Bill Nye the Science Guy premiered on PBS. Bill Nye the Science Guy. As far as the format goes, Bill Nye plays himself in a zany and hyper way. He would often wear a blue lab coat and wild pattern bow tie. The show would combine the serious science of everyday things with fast paced action and humor. Each of the 30 minute episodes would begin with Nye introducing the episode's topic, which would lead into the iconic opening credit sequence and theme song. After the credits, the topic from the previous episode will be mentioned in Brought to You By. Bill Nye the Science Guy is brought to you by The Brain. Without it, you wouldn't be able to understand what I'm saying. And that wouldn't be any good for either of us. Now would it? After this, Bill would walk onto a set that was called Nye Laboratories, which was filled with visually interesting objects that all had to do with science. The show would often parody movies and television programs as vehicles to connect to their science topic. Fools. Fools. They laughed at me. Wait till they think about this. <laughs> the program would often have guest stars and included some fairly big Hollywood actors. This included Samuel L. Jackson. Hi, Mr. Jackson. You're getting ready for an aerodynamic adventure, aren't you? You're talking about the dimples on the golf ball, aren't you, Bill? Yeah, they help the ball go farther. It raises the Reynolds number by effectively increasing the characteristic length of the airflow over the ball. It's quite an invention. Alfonso Ribeiro. Hey, Alfonso, what are you doing? Oh, just checking on what's growing. You know, the crops, the flowers, usual. Huh. It's beautiful, man. Not those, Bill. These. Look. Oh, the decomposers. Yeah, bacteria, fungi, earthworms, all the things that eat dead stuff. I like it. Wow, just look at all those decomposers, putting important nutrients back into the soil for plants to use. It is important, right, Bill? Because we all depend upon plants. Sinbad. Drew Barrymore. And not actor, but cool side note, Bob Ross. Did you know that everything you see is an image on your retina? It's true. And those images are made by two kinds of cells called rods and cones. Now rods aren't sensitive to colors, just to shades of gray and low light. That's what gives us night vision. Let's paint some happy rods around the edge. 
Each episode also featured Nye in different places, where he would interview people and talk about their work and other contributions that connected to the episode's topic. The show would frequent a segment called Way Cool Scientist. This segment had experts on discussing the science topic of that individual episode. Look in rocks like this, in beautiful places like this, and find fossils of mammals that lived here 30 million years ago. Another segment was Consider the Following, where Nye discusses a certain aspect of the episode's topic. Please consider, please consider, please consider, consider the following. Take a look at this. Nifty Home Experiment, where the audience is shown how to perform basic home experiments that related to the episode's topic. First, take an empty pop bottle and fill it with exactly one cup of water. <laughs> Check it out where the audience is shown how to affect their environmental issues by relating to the episode's topic. Look at all those cute little brain cells. Look at them. See, you and she and I all have about the same number of brain cells. We have the same number of brain cells when we're born as when we're grown-ups, about 100 billion. See, we never get any more. Now, if you uh, cut your finger, you can put a bandage on it and it'll heal in a few days. If you break your leg, you can put a cast on it and it'll heal in a few weeks. But it doesn't work that way with your brain cells. We never grow new ones. So, you can damage your brain cells by uh, drinking alcoholic beverages, taking drugs, or crashing your bike when you're not wearing a helmet. So be careful. Think about your brain cells. Are you thinking about them? And did you know that? Where an interesting fact relating to the episode's topic was presented. Did you know that? Muscle makes up 85% of your body weight. A human skeleton starts out as cartilage that hardens into bones over your entire lifetime. Bone is stronger inch for inch than the steel in skyscrapers. Now you know! Many episodes would also feature parody songs accompanied with music videos. These were part of the soundtrack of science by Not That Bad Records. Nye would often frequent the catchphrase Not That Bad during the episodes featuring music videos. This would usually happen towards the end of the episode and the music parodies would take the place of the usual scientific roundup of other episodes in the series. Each half hour episode ends with Nye saying, well that's our show, thanks for watching. If you'll excuse me I've got some before explaining his departure in a clever description of an activity on a topic followed by him saying see ya afterwards. After that, a female announcer says produced in association with the National Science Foundation. Everything looks okay. That's my brain. And that's our show. Thanks for watching. If you'll excuse me, I've got millions of synapses to forward and neurons to fire. See ya! Produced in association with the National Science Foundation. The credits rolled over bloopers from the episode. In a study that evaluated the pacing of 87 popular children's programs, Bill Nye the Science Guy was found to be the fastest paced show on television, with a pacing score of 56.90. Following the first year of the show's run, the production companies entered a distribution agreement with Buena Vista Television, a subsidiary of the Walt Disney Company. As part of this new agreement, the show's profits would be split between Disney and the production team, and Disney would now also hold full distribution rights across broadcasting, home video, and digital streaming. The show was now partly produced by the Walt Disney Company, and as part of the Children's Television Act, Disney would produce the program and allow the show to be aired on PBS. This meant that Bill Nye the Science Guy was the first program to run on the same time on both public TV and commercial TV stations. And the infamous theme song was written by a former math teacher named Mike Green. The theme song is among the most iconic in old educational TV shows. Bill Nye the Science Guy was greatly popular with educators and children alike. I personally recall my teachers wheeling in the TVs on the carts to watch this show. And for whatever reason, the show always grabbed my full attention. It was fun and let kids try real world experiments at home, as well as educated them on the real world science of every day. When Bill and I was on, be it at the classroom or at home, we all felt like scientists. Playhouse Disney would continue to look for new ways to keep kids on the TV in the late 90s. Bill Nye the Science Guy would end in 1998 after 5 seasons and 100 episodes, but Disney was prepared. Their new relationship with the Jim Henson Company just a year earlier in 1997 would prove to be a good idea when they came together to welcome us to the bear in the big blue house. Howdy from the big bear. 
Want some fun? Here's where. Just for you. All is new in the House of Blue. Other science shows are all talk and no science. This is all very reasonable. There's nothing very hard to understand here. But with Bill Nye, the science guy, you get all science all the time. Make the switch to m m m m m science power. Switch to Bill Nye, the science guy. Weekdays on the game. Here we go! 